For creation of solid bodies, the main operations are extrude and revolve. We will consider them. Let's create a new detail. We will create the sketch. As the plane of the sketch, we choose the XY plane. We will create a rectangle with the sides of 50 and 30 millimeter. We choose the rectangle function. We will enter from the keyboard 50, the tab key, and 30. We will make a rectangle symmetric concerning the beginning of coordinates. For this purpose, we will create vertical position of the middle of the lower piece of the rectangle from the beginning of coordinates and horizontal position of the middle of the left piece from the beginning of coordinates. Then we accept the sketch. Then goes the operation extrude. As the sketch, we at once will choose a rectangle since it is the only closed figure. In the field distance, we put 70. It is possible to specify the direction of extrude of the initial plane too. Up, down, or symmetrically, and also asymmetric with input of distance of one sides. In the More tab, it is possible to enter a corner of extrude both positive and negative. We will leave a corner negative 0 degrees and extrude negative up distance minus 70. Then press OK. We will save the detail under the name Detail 2 and close it. We will open the detail which is already created by us earlier here. We will execute the operation extrude for it. Since on the sketch of some closed contours, the sketch automatically doesn't get out. It is possible to choose each closed contour as the sketch. The exception of a contour is made by pressing Shift or Control key. We choose all sketches except for a circle. Depth of extrude can be regulated by means of the handle tool which is represented in the form of an arrow. We enter the exact value of extrude, 8 millimeters. On the forward side of the detail, we create one more sketch. For this purpose, we press the sketch function and choose the forward plane of the detail as the plane. Contours of this side are projected on the received sketch. Let's create an ellipse. We specify dependence of vertical position of the center with the center of a circle. We specify the size of small radius of an ellipse, 5 millimeters. Big radius equal two small radiuses. We will tie the center of the ellipse to the lower side on distance of 10 millimeters. We will accept the sketch. We choose the operation Extrude. We choose an ellipse as the sketch. Extrude can be made with banding, subtraction, and crossing of the received bodies. We will exclude the ellipse from our detail. As restriction, we choose not distance, but two, and we will choose an opposite side of the detail. Now, it is possible to see that all actions with the detail are displayed in the browser, 
and it is possible to edit the sketch or operation at any time. For example, we will edit the first sketch. We will enter value of radius of the first circle 14 millimeters. We accept the sketch and see that the date that the, we accept the sketch and see that the detail changed. We save the detail and close it. Let's consider the operation revolve. We will create a new detail. We will call it hub. In the XY plane, we create the sketch. We will draw a horizontal line 100 millimeters long with the beginning at the beginning of coordinates. After that, we will allocate a piece and on the format tab, we will press center line. This piece will be a revolve axis. Then we draw a detail contour. Thus, dependencies of parallelism and perpendicularity are imposed automatically. We put down the sketch sizes. To the axial line, the size is automatically put down as diameter. But by means of the right button of the mouse, it is possible to establish it as the linear size. We specify value of internal diameter 70 millimeters, external minus 85 millimeters, diameter of a side 100 millimeters, and side width 10 millimeters. We set dependence of vertical position of extreme lines with an extreme point of the axial line. Now, if we want to put down the size between extreme lines, the program will issue the prevention that this size is excessive. We put down as the reference size. Now, the sketch is completely defined. Also, all pieces became blue. We will make two internal chamfers of 2.5 millimeters. For creation of a chamfer, it is possible to point two adjacent lines or a point between lines. We specify the radius of interface to the side 1.6 millimeters. We specify an external chamfer 3 millimeters long at an angle of 15 degrees. We accept the sketch. We choose the operation Revolve. Since we have an only closed contour, it is chosen as the sketch. We specify the angle of Revolve 180 degrees in the opposite direction. It is also possible to change the chosen revolve axis. Having pressed the axis function, pressing shift, we cancel the chosen axis and we choose the new. Any line on the sketch can be chosen as a new axis of revolve. In the same way, it can be canceled and chosen again. We specify an initial axis of revolve and press OK. 
we receive a solid body by means of the operation revolve. Save the detail and close it.